G'day guys, how are we on this uh, Monday? I almost forgot what day it was, Monday night, refreshing start to the week. Round 11 has officially obviously come to a close. Thought I'd jump on with everyone and do a little live stream. I don't do too many uh, live streams, I thought it would be a good opportunity. Uh, getting close to that halfway mark of the season, um, I'll try and pump out more of these if you like, but Good day, everyone. Good day, KJH and New South Wales Train Vlogs. So, yeah, I thought I'd jump on, have a chat. If you guys want to ask some questions about vlogs, about player interaction, just don't ask for my um, my tips for round 12, obviously, because I will be putting those out tomorrow night. Uh, will Brisbane do better now that they hammered the Roosters? Absolutely not. It was a horribly refereed game, in my opinion, but I think the Broncos' effort was good. Um, they now have Tyson Gamble out, and so Anthony Milford's back in the side, and no, I don't think the Broncos will do very well. They've got the Melbourne Storm this week at home, and we know how many points Melbourne like to score at Suncorp. It's going to be... Uh, not so friendly for the home team. And we'll have to see who they get back. I don't think they get many of their big players back. Munster could be in. Um, definitely not Pappenhausen. First team to beat Penrith this year. Um, honestly, I don't know if anyone will. <laughs> um, if I had to go, I guess, even though Burton will be in the halves during the origin period... <laughs> I could see the Sharks doing it. I could see the Sharks with Sean Johnson, Chad Townsend really stepping up while a few of the Penrith Panthers get um, a miss, um, like a, a rest for origin. I could see maybe the Sharks. How would I rate Joseph Suwali? Um, interesting question, this one. I would probably say around that 6.5 to 7 out of 10. I think his defence needs work. He wasn't horrible, but definitely work for defence. But I didn't expect much from the young gun to debut. It's one game. Uh, his attack was quite nice. Some nice passes, some nice touches of the ball. Definitely a very unique player. Um, but he's definitely not a 10 out of 10 for mine yet. But as I mentioned, I don't expect that from players. I just don't yet. If Panthers played in Melbourne, though, they would lose. Well, they've already beaten Melbourne this year. Um, so... Do you think the Rabbitohs will beat Eels with a full good team? I'm not going to spoil my tips for tomorrow, TWK. All I'll say is it'll be really interesting that both teams are coming off a loss. I won't say if I'm still tipping them, but I was going to tip the Bunnies two weeks ago. I circled this game as a loss for us, a game that we would struggle. Uh, Sam Clark, he says, do you think the Cowboys will make the top eight? Well, I don't necessarily think they will. But I think this week is a big test because I do have the Warriors. I think I've got the Warriors making the eight, in my opinion. I think they're going to. Um, the only thing is their defense is really worrying me, just like the Gold Coast Titans at the moment. Can Canberra come back and make the eight? I think yes, but I think they need to start winning games soon. They're only in 11th position. They would move into ninth with a win this week. Actually, they could even move into eighth with a win this week. They would need the Sharks to beat the Titans. Things would need to go their way. But maybe, maybe. They are letting in a lot of points lately, though. I think Roosters won't win until round 17. Wow, that's a huge call. That's a huge call. So you've got the Raiders. Then you've got a buy, so you win that one. Titans at home. Panthers, Storm, oh, 17, you said, so against the Dogs. Wow. Big call. I think you'll win at least two of those games for sure. How well do you think Latrell Mitchell is going? I didn't get to watch much of yesterday because I was at um, Parramatta Stadium having a chat and getting some signatures from the Parramatta Eels players, but I did see the score, saw a few highlights. Matt Burton was fantastic. Latrell was pretty quiet. It was his first game back from suspension, though. Sharks or Titans, I'm not going to reveal any tips for tomorrow night. That video will be out either tomorrow or Wednesday. There's a good chance it could be out on Wednesday, but I'd like to put it out tomorrow if I can. Probably no guest at this stage. Will I be at the Bunnies versus Eels game? No, I will be at the Raiders and the Roosters. It's down here on the Central Coast, so I'll be heading to that one close to home. It's a shame Josh Papali won't be making the trip down, but uh, 
Hopefully we can get some player chats on the channel. We had uh, Ryan Madison for the Eels game as well as Moses Suley. Lots of photos with players, but as for chats. Once round 17 comes, though, Roosters will only lose in round 21 against the Panthers. Do they play Eels again? Be good to see if they meet again in the finals. I think they'd be filthy about their Bankwest loss. They they definitely turned up, played some good footy, but Parramatta snipped them in the end away. Feel free to keep your questions coming, guys. If you are joining this channel for the first time as well, just jumping on the live stream, make sure you do hit that subscribe button. We're getting close. Uh, Josh Jackson is spamming, so we're going to hide, and we are going to – where are we? Oh, he's too quick. You're too quick, mate. Good thing I put you in timeout. Do you think the Rabbitohs will make the top four? Right now, I'm not too sure. I think that the Roosters' loss to Brisbane will help them uh, build their confidence, which could put them in the top four. I still think Parramatta make the top four just based on their draw. However, if I'm going off last week, then I'd say the Roosters and Rabbits are probably a slightly not above. I don't know. I don't know where the Eels are right now. I don't know. <laughs> yes, at home at the SCG, Parramatta haven't won the Roosters home since 2008. Oh, okay, round 20. So you'll have some of your big guns there. Will Luke Keary be back then probably? Or is he out for the season? I think Luke Carey's season might be finished, but I can't remember. Do you think Melbourne will make the grand final? Definitely a, a good chance of going back-to-back, -back, but the Panthers look like firm favourites, which I did predict at the start of the year, so pretty happy with that one. <sighs> uh, Luke Carey is out for the rest of the season. That's a huge loss for the Roosters, in my opinion. Huge loss. They've got Sam Walker. Drew Hutchinson has fractured ribs, so he'll probably be back, what, round 11 or round 12 we're in. I expect him to be back maybe round 17. Ladder, Panthers, Storm, Rabbits, Roosters, Eels, Sea Eagles, Warriors, Cowboys. Ooh, I don't mind that ladder. I don't mind that ladder. I'd probably have the Titans because of their attack above the Cowboys, but the Cowboys' defense has gotten a lot better. Panthers versus Melbourne Grand Final again. Melbourne win 1918. Okay. Okay. I have Melbourne going down to the Panthers in the grand final this year. I've got a grand final rematch where the Penrith Panthers snatch it. I just think this season is showing just how good they are. They have to lose a game, though, to run out of steam. Otherwise, if they, maybe if they lose a the game, it's going to kill all their confidence and they lose another one. So, uh, don't know. <laughs> <clears throat> My blue side, says Leah. Not many people on here tonight. That's all good. Maybe I could do one on Instagram as well. Actually, everyone wants to join that, so I won't do that tonight. Maybe later in the week I'll do one on Instagram. Maybe Wednesday night. We'll see. How is the vlog going? Why was Chad Townsend there? Says FDH accounts. Uh, Chad Townsend was filming a vlog for the um, Eels and Manly game. Uh, maybe it was a generic weekend vlog. Uh, both myself and RXYSV2 have cameos in that. Do I think the Sharks are good? No. No, they were awful against the Dragons. Absolutely awful. Oh, both teams were horrible, though. We be at round 21. Uh, I think Rabbitohs play Eels at Bankwest. Yes. Yes, I'll be there. Uh, Tina Bouquet says, how good is Reese Walsh? Oh, absolutely love him. See my photo with him? Where are we? There he is. With my mouth. Someone yelled Mr. Beast at me in the Maccas car park as well. There he is, Reese Walsh. Absolutely love him. Fantastic young gun. Kind of reminds me of the Rookie of the Year battle, how Lamello's got it, risk of getting injured, which is Sam Walker right now for me. And in comes uh, Anthony Edwards, who is Reese Walsh, in my opinion. So 
So lucky you got to meet that beast. Yeah, he's great. Do I know BKR Sport? Yeah, me and BKR Sport are quite close friends, actually. There was, if you missed the vlog, guys, there's Tom Trevojevic. G'day, NRL 2021. What about this fellow, guys? Wendell Saylor. Didn't expect Wendell Saylor to be at Bankwest Stadium, but he was. And this man. Oh, Reese Walsh is fantastic. Sammy Thiday. Really good day out yesterday. Obviously, it was a loss. But I'll tell you what, both games that we lost against the Dragons and the Sea Eagles, I've had a really good time at Bankwest Stadium. The first time it was uh, getting to welcome the players onto the field, which is an unforgettable experience. Bulldogs, <laughs> who do you think will get the wooden spoon this year? TKWD, get your comment out of here. Bulldogs, enough said. How's it going, G? I'm going good. Laughing faces. Maybe I have to put them in time out. Do you think my Warriors will make the top eight? Um, I think so. I do, actually. I'm starting to believe in them more and more. Now, the issue is their defense, but they're finding a way to win games. Their for and against isn't going to be good, but I do think they're going to be a top eight side. I think, I think they're going to sneak in there. I think. I think you can almost write the Knights off. I think the Dragons are sitting in the top eight, but they look hopeless. They've got the Tigers this week, and I, I don't know who to tip. I don't. I'll be honest. I'll wait till the team list, but I don't know who to tip because the Tigers should have probably beaten the Warriors, but they didn't. And the Dragons probably should have beaten the Sharks, but they also didn't. So, but the Dragons' form slump has been horrible considering they beat Parramatta. Who's your premiership winner? I took the Panthers at the start of the year, and I'll probably stick with them as well. Who is my favorite player? Of all time, Andrew Johns, it currently, jeez, there's a lot. Walsh is up there. Harry Grant's up there too, but he hasn't played much footy lately. Oh, VKR Sport just roasted me. VKR Sport says, took the Knights for top four too. Took the Knights for top four pre-pandemic. Like, ah. Oh. During that pandemic, I thought that uh, just the lockdown was getting to me saying the Knights will be top four. Uh, Dill hasn't been at his best this season. I need to see more from him. He obviously has been suspended for two weeks, but I really do need to see more from him. But as a player, he's, he's just fantastic at, around in and around the ground to speak to. I'm a Matter Parramatta fan, but Manly turned to play against us, but there were some bad calls. The worst call for me, the big call for me that pissed me off, and I think Manly played outstanding. Real respect for Manly, played so good for Bob Fulton, 100%. But why? Why did Moses kick the ball into Manly? Manly touched the ball. The ball goes dead. Even Voss was going off, apparently, Andrew Voss, and Manly get the ball. Why? The ball's gone dead. It's come off Manly player. Why haven't Parramatta got an opportunity? Like, I know nothing we can do to change that. I thought Reid Marnie was average yesterday, but I thought he had a really crucial kick in the game, which you can see that moment in the vlog. Uh, Raiders are going to be 15th, says Chris Harry Harrison. That's a huge call. Tiddles McDaffy says, true. I can't see your profile picture. Do you have Daffy Duck? Yeah, I agree, and I was there with my dad and brother. Yeah, that's the only call I question. I don't question much from yesterday. I think the refereeing was fairly good for the most part. Um, I didn't see the Panthers and Rabbits, so let me know how the refereeing was in that. I did see Josh Mansour get um, spoken to by the referee about the touch judge, so uh, I should get Daffy. Yeah, McDaffy, Daffy Duck, that's what I think of. Uh, I think Warriors will finish six. I don't think they'll finish six, but I think they'll make the top eight. With the Titans. I think the Titans have to. If the Titans don't, that's pretty poor, but I think they will. Uh, but then the ref changed it to be a 20-meter restart for Para. No, they didn't. No, they didn't. I'm poor. Am I? Or am I rich? I'm poor. You're right. There are a lot of people jumping on now. I was going to kind of wrap this up, but... 
It's it's going all right. BKR, you have not replied to my message. There we go. I've sent you another one. Rip us on the ladder. We are third. Yeah, only third. Yeah, didn't Para get the ball? No, they didn't. Why are people saying Para got the ball? I was at the game. Andrew Voss had a G up too. Where do I live? Doesn't matter. Cheers for your recent follow on Instamate. Loving your content. Thank you, Lockie. That's the uh, that's the Sunshine Coast Falcons page. Go and check it out, guys. But go the North Devil. Go the Devil. Albert Bishop Park for life. Thoughts on Roosters losing the Broncos by 18. As BKR can say, one of the worst refereed games we have ever, ever witnessed. However, the Broncos fought hard. I think they deserve to win that game. The Roosters played well towards the end. Some of the line breaks from Tupanua. Uh, I think Tupo got one as well. Sam Walker at one stage. He didn't have a great game, but he opened them up at one stage. They looked dangerous. But Broncos will take a bit of confidence out of that. What's your address? Are you going to the Eels game this week? No, I'll be at Roosters and Raiders on Saturday night. Wanga Blake sucks. He should get man of the match for Manly. I'll be very surprised if he plays this week. We uh we keep giving him chances. We keep giving him chances, especially if Murata Neokore is available for selection. I know that Dylan Brown's still a week away, so I think Murata's still a week away as well. I was talking to Dylan. He'll be back against Newcastle next week. Roosters lost to Broncos in similar fashion to the Warriors when we hammered them. Yeah, yeah, that was in that was at Mount Smart, wasn't it? In New Zealand, I remember that thirty to six, I think. Warriors are inconsistent and win too many games against teams they shouldn't beat and then lose to teams they should beat. Not wrong. That's the typical Warriors. I swear Parramatta would have got a 20-minute restart. They changed the court last minute. That was the one where it bounced over. That's where it bounced over and Reid Marnie picked it up. But there was one where Reid uh, didn't uh, tickets tonight or tomorrow. Tomorrow. No, he's, he's correct for the that call. I'm talking about when the ball was kicked from Moses into a player and went all the way back and then Manly were given the ball, called not played at. That was ridiculous. How do I get so close to the players? Um, surprising, guys, there are a few players who I wouldn't say watch Entertain House, but um, they quite like, uh, but did Manly intentionally play at it? Let's not get into this. Let's not get into this. Um, yeah, there are a few players who are really keen for a chat. Some I ask. Um, some, uh, they're just signing cards with people and have a chat. There's other players who say that they know of the content and are happy to jump on for a vlog. For example, Ryan Madison. Um, so, and I think Dylan Brown was the same back in um, 2019. So we're going back a while there. But everyone's jumping on now. We've got 28 people. Smash that like button, guys. Smack that. that there you go. That like button. Yeah, I was sitting near these annoying Manly fans that were toxic. Yeah, there was a few there. Do I like Chad Townsend? I do. I do. I'm going to be in Chad Townsend's blog as well, guys. Chad Townsend uh, watches – I am not. Well, I don't know. He did know of me. He recognised me in that way and then told me to come on the vlog for a split second. There's a photo with Chad Townsend yesterday. Um, I think that vlog will be out on Wednesday, I think he said. I think he said Wednesday. What minute of the match was it? I don't know. Right, see so you got to go. See so a TWK plays. Thanks for jumping on. Should the dogs bring back Flanagan? Um, yes, yes, for Wakem. I wouldn't be getting Navarillo anywhere off that field. He was out. He's really, really good season so far. Are you going to the Eels versus Raiders game? Well, that's a while away, but probably, probably, yeah. Who are you tipping, Roosters or Raiders? Uh, Aaron, I won't be revealing my tips until tomorrow night, potentially Wednesday, but my tipping video will come out 
tomorrow night probably. You'd love to meet Chad. Yeah, Chad is a really nice person to The Parramatta Eels didn't play well yesterday. Um, oh, there was some creative plays. Oh, my God. Did you just put Manly in second? Chris, what are you smoking? Do I think the Raiders will be in the finals? Depends if their big guns perform. And if, Kay if Caleb Aikens can become a, a full-season fullback. I mean, he's doing the job there. Taking high balls, taking a good run at the line. But... Did you observe a minute silence for Fulton? We sure did. I'll, uh, we did, and then we had the crowd absolutely clap for him. Um, yeah, go and check out the vlog for that one. Manly fourth or fifth? I think around sixth. I still have the Roosters, I think, above Manly. Cowboys for finals, says Nick from Australia. Happy birthday to Nick from Australia. Are you going to Knights vs. Para? That's the tickets that Emily was talking about earlier. Chad Townsend is a grub. Remember last year when he tried to take Kalen Ponga's head off? This reminds me. Um, two years ago today, or three years ago today, was it three or two? Two years ago today, I think. Um, Kalen Ponga's head was taken off by Jared Warrior Hargraves. It came up in my news feed. Um, I shared that. I was very outraged. Yeah, here it is. Uh, how was Ben Cummins? How can Ben Cummins stand there and say this tackle is okay when Jared Maria Hargrave took his head off? Uh, did you want? Did you want and watch the game yesterday? Did you want and watch the game yesterday? I can't understand that. Three games in a row now. Merely have beaten Parramatta. Shut up! No, they have not. Two, two. How far can Roosters go in finals with current team? Probably week two. I could see them winning week one of the finals with the team they've got, but I don't think I could see them in a prelim at currently. It is not three. It is not three. It was 19, Eels, 16, Manly. Eels will beat Rabbits. Thanks, Chris. We'll have to wait and see. As I said, I circled this game as a danger game. I tipped us against Manly, tipped us against Warriors, but I said we'll lose to Rabbits. But now that we've lost this game, and now that I've seen the boy, you should have seen how angry Clint Gutherson was. He was fired up. Ryan Madison, lots of aggression about him, was happy to have a chat. Do I like Gutherson's man bun? Sure do. Do I like his mo? Fuck no. <laughs> uh, Raiders 14th. No. How many spare heads does Ponga have? I believe he has three left. 24 to 14 in regards to views and likes. That sounds like a footy score. Does anybody think a game could be 24 points to 14 this weekend? Uh, Pongs is getting more bad. A Wanga Blake should go back to Panthers. Do you think Parramatta Eels will play the Panthers in the grand final? I don't think so. I'd like to see it. Surely Ponga back next week. Yeah, surely. Surely. Uh, do Titans play finals, in your opinion, or not ready? I think they do. I think they do. I think they sneak in there because of their for and against, especially. But their attack is good. They weren't great against the border. They still found a way uh, to win the game. Uh, Ponga will lose all those three heads because he gets targeted by shit players. <laughs> oh, this is getting pretty funny. I was disappointed when we lost in Golden Point. Sharks kicked a one point. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. Both teams played shit, but the Dragons had so much more opportunity to win that game. Why didn't they take a field goal from in front? Like, why didn't they take it? Top five attack, bottom three defense. I don't know about bottom three. It's pretty close to that. I would say maybe bottom five. I don't know about bottom three. It's pretty hard. Top five attack for sure. Top five attack. Top three, top four attack, maybe. Not a top four team, in my opinion, but it's for attack. Thoughts on Will Kennedy? Really good young player. Uh, the Roosters and Eels are on the same for and against, are they? Good to know. Newcastle or Canberra? Biggest disappointment. Newcastle. 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 That's all I'm going to say. Honestly, excuse my language. It's fucking Norman. Norman can't kick. Only just a point. Norman. Corey Norman. Corey Norman. 
What do you rate Kalen Ponga out of 10? On looks, 10. On performance, 8. No, he's a 10 out of 10 player. He's a gun. Is he going to be the Queensland fullback or is it going to be AJ Brimson, though? Because I said that would be his audition and score a double. I've got to post that. I've got to post what I was right about in my tips last week for you guys as well. How many games have I been to? Um, oof, about, about 116, I think. I think I've been to two or two a week for eight weeks, nine. Actually, magic round. Shit. Eight. You know what? I'm getting closer, aren't I, to my 150th game, the more I think about it. Uh, when are my tips? Tomorrow night. Get Bird to six or give Jaden Sullivan a run. Yeah, give Jaden Sullivan a run. Piss Norman off. 116. No, I think more than that. Give me a second. Give me a second. I'll check this. I'll check this. Everyone, um, by the way, Peter Hiku has signed with the North Queensland Cowboys. The Cowboys look decent. Not great, but decent. Deedon, Townsend, Hiku. Have they signed anyone else? They've lost Molo. All right, so there was eight games at Magic Round that I went to. We're counting vlogs, though, so we're going to add five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. So, yeah, 117 since that Storm vlog, which was my 100th vlog. Um, mate, Jesus Christ. I'm going to report that one. Jesus Christ. If you think about it, Ponga gets most of his injuries from being targeted. Absolutely. Sharks ninth. Dreaming. Dreaming. Didn't and Townsend make zero sense? long-term, but anyway, we'll see. We'll see. Do you think Parramatta are good contenders for a premiership this year? I don't know. I think this game showed that we're not as good as Penrith and Melbourne in regards to our level of consistency and come finals. That's going to be the type of game that we're going to uh, struggle under pressure. I still think we've played really good footy this year, so I don't have doubt in us yet. Like last year and the year before, I can't say, no, nah, we're done. I'm done. I can see us exiting week two. I don't know if I can see it this year. Uh, Cowboys versus Warriors and Tigers versus Dragons versus very unpredictable. Cowboys and Warriors is fucking hard to pick. Is the debutant playing for the Cowboys, Nick Hylam Lukey? Near Corey to come back in this week? I think next week. I believe he's back next week. Coast to, Coast to Storm. Who should be the Doggies fullback? Meany, Dallin Martini, Zalesniak, or Allen? Uh, Hopper should be dropped, you reckon? Um... Probably Dallin. I think Dallin with that New Zealand experience at the back. Um, Corey Allen is okay. He's not nothing special at the Dogs. I've never rated him too much. He had some good games at South, so he can get back to that form. He is playing. He was fantastic. I'm not going to lie. He had one of the best debuts I've watched in a long time. High level lucky. Keep an eye out on him. Keep him on your super coach, maybe even. What did he score? I don't know. He was fantastic to watch. I really, really like what I saw from him. Scored a try, ran for definitely over about 50 metres, which is pretty good for Debu in the minutes he made. Some really solid carries of the ball. All right, guys, I think I'm going to jump off. Thanks for jumping on. We've been going for half an hour. I didn't expect so many questions and people to jump on. Thank you. Make sure you do like the video up here. I'll see you guys for my tips probably tomorrow night or Wednesday. As I mentioned, there will be a game day vlog this week, which will be Roosters versus Raiders, and hopefully we can get some photos, signatures, and player chats. So if you haven't checked out already, go and check out my Manly Seagulls versus Parramatta Eels vlog where the Parramatta Eels got thumped. And also make sure you check out the best players of NRL 2021 so far. Thanks, guys.